Well, Bob, the football club has signed a memorandum of understanding with the university. Just explain a little bit about that process and, and, and why it's been done today. I think it's really important. Um, if you come away from football, Phil, this opportunity for the city at this moment in time. And we started to engage with them as soon as we knew they'd got permission to, to build the uni moving forward. Because we just felt that any benefit it might bring to the football club, it would bring an even bigger benefit to the community. I mean, it was a no-brainer for us here at the football club. Yeah, when you look at, obviously, our work within the community and how this university is going to impact the surrounding area of Peterborough, as you say, it's almost like a marriage made in heaven. I, I think so. I couldn't agree. I couldn't agree more. Um, you know the great work that the academy and obviously the foundation do. To have a new stadium or a new arena, whatever we want to call it, moving forward, would bring an incredible benefit to the local community, education, science, all every every gamut of a university life, post and undergraduate, and we can be part of that in providing it and supporting it in the city. It's, again, it's a no-brainer for me. And the location of where the university is going to be is city centre. It's obviously close to the, close to the amenities within, within Cathedral Square, places like that, but also the train station. You're going to encourage more people to come from out of the city into the city. And as I say, that can only be a benefit to the city because ultimately it's about growth, isn't it? Yeah, I mean, listen, when I used to travel across London, when I lived in London, you know, it could take you an hour to get from one side to the other. You can get up here from King's Cross in 35 minutes. Um, yeah, I think it will bring, bring people in from all over, from South East England. Mm -hmm. And it's a unique opportunity because they're going to tailor make all the courses and all, all the educational aspirations to fit, to fit a different pattern. And again, the opportunity for that is just, uh, it'll be so rewarding. And I'll, I want us... The football clubs be part of it. Yeah, strangely, obviously, growing up and um, you know, we lived in Peterborough all my life. It seems strange when you look back on it that there's not been a university in Peterborough, given the size and, and the development of the city. You know, we're in 2021 now. We're looking forward to a whole different growth area in Peterborough, and it's a, you know, the university sits perfectly now at the right time. Yeah, again, it's it's just this opportunity, and it, this is a once in a lifetime opportunity for me to merge the two businesses the, you know, we both do the same sort of work, but in a different way. We look to educate, we look to support, we, we like things to be as healthy as possible, engaging as possible, and to be diverse. That's the other massive thing that we can both bring to the table. Mm -hmm. The diversity is without equal. Yeah, and just finally, I was just saying that, you know, players, Nathan Thompson's now doing a, a master's in, in football business and all that kind of stuff. And it, it's, it's great because obviously people don't realise that within the academy, they're all still doing education. It's part of their learning. It's not just what, what they do on the pitch, it's what they do off it. We've always said that. We've been partnered with Neen Park Academy for years next to the training ground. So this is the logical next step. Yeah, I was part of that. Uh, um, I was drawn into that and helped them and did a couple of Zooms with the group that were doing that we're doing the work and yes you're dead right Phil I mean you know it's a double-edged sword there'll be lots of people at the university who maybe we can support with work and obviously there'll be all our players through all the ages who they'll be able to support with learning and education facilities as well I, it's just uh, this has got to happen Cause it's, cause it's, it's funny because Kieran Scarf obviously academy manager was talking about the GCSE results recently which are an equivalent to A level for some of them in, in terms of BTEC and two of the players that actually left us had the best marks and they've gone on to university and Kieran was speaking with immense pride about it's not about necessarily providing a football future for them because not everybody will make it through the system but it's rounding them as individuals so they can go off to university and further their education and when you've got this on your doorstep it, you know it, it, it's almost like um, you are um, developing the, the future of the city. We were talking about this in the meeting, about the benefit, because I think we all know in football that there's a lot of youngsters who don't make the grade, whatever you, we choose to call it, and we've got to look after them, and this will give us a whole new range of support that we can give them moving forward in, with, with educational programmes, um, and, and all sorts of life experiences as well through the university. And so, again, no-brainer.